Okay, so for today's experiment, I have this, uh, I believe it's about 40 watt light, shining down on a typical little solar cell there. I'll put my two fingers beside it to give you some kind of idea how big it is. Typical garden light, you know, that you'll find. Now I found these guys, and uh, they were normally three bucks at Fields. But I paid, what was it, 75 cents for these on sale. And they're kind of an interesting little, you know, typical solar light. But they have an interesting circuit in them. Anyway, so there you have it, 2.5 volts. So now I'll hook up a LED. I have the white wire connected to the red wire and the yellow wire connected to the black wire okay and I have my lead connected correctly oh, pretty difficult to anyways it is corrected it is connected correctly so that being said okay so now I got the same thing I haven't moved anything change anything. I've now hooked up my power lines to my solar cell and that's what it runs at loaded. So that's the voltage drop on the system. It was 2.3 volts before. Okay now I'm going to shut the main light off in the room although this you know of course this 40 watt lamp does help illuminate but I have it pointed in the opposite area of my circuit so that you can see otherwise you wouldn't really see okay so I have two LEDs going right by the transistor and then the thing that I'm doing that's different is I got this third one which is a five millimeter blinking and you can see it's oscillating it's not steady okay so now I'll show you what I'm doing here turn on some light now for one thing I have capacitance on the power rail see if I pull this capacitor I lose everything okay if I plug it back in there she goes so that's my t then the other thing is is I have a diode going over to the base. This is a typical little toroid. Nice one though from a CFL, right? You know, nice little ferrite bead. I found MP MPSA06 transistor. Okay. Now here's what's a little bit different. I have my uh, two LEDs running directly as you might expect them to with uh, you know the positive side of of those leads coming off the collector leading directly to ground but what I also have what I also have coming off that collector is uh, okay you can see over here to this side of the circuit is my positive side on the on this lead and it's coming around over to here okay so it's connected to the collector through an RF diode alright and then okay that's the positive side of the circuit now this is straight out of the solar light out of the store okay now on the negative side of course it just goes over to negative right? so I have one blocking oscillator there but on the output of it going through an RF diode alright I have it coming back and I'm running it through a second blocking oscillator now the interesting thing is if I disconnect the load the second blocking oscillator it changes the frequency and I suppose you know I'm getting more energy out of those, those they're, they're blinking brighter now interesting because I want I want to see if I can figure out a way to get this circuit 
blinking faster and faster right also have an RF diode going over to the base which is what laser sabers been playing just show you this working straight up as a jewel thief just to compare the difference okay so there we have it just a jewel thief circuit and I'll see if, in all fairness it's only got one LED now I'll see if I can dial this pot a little bit to, to get it better because it might need to be tuned up a bit I'm gonna add the capacitor see if I can do this while I'm filming it so you can see that helped all right So anyways, that's it. Just having fun. Thanks for watching. Okay, so when I was running it in just Jewel Thief mode, I should have made a note that it loaded down this to 0.3 of a volt. Okay, now what I have over here now is just a single LED with the addition of Laver Saber's diode. Okay, and you can see it's only loading it down to about 0.6 but I'm getting really nice brightness out of that and I'll just turn on the light so you can see that okay that's the addition of that RF diode and the tank uh, so if I pull this again nothing and if I put that back that little tank away she goes Okay, and I'll do one more thing here. Okay, now I have removed the normal LED, added a second RF diode, sent it to the second oscillator, which was the circuit um, that came in the um, in the garden light, and we have now steady state. So that's the steady state <clears throat> operation. And you definitely got more light coming out of there than if you run this thing. Uh, just straight up with one LED as a jewel thief. So it's interesting. Thanks for watching. It's more light than just the jewel thief. And I tried to measure the amp drop but I couldn't really with my equipment so it's just under a milliamp I think and that loaded down is only 0.83 and keep in mind I said that when I ran this as a straight up Joel Thief it loaded down the input to 0.3 so it's still running out of frequency just a nicer one that's all alright thank you very much for watching